And I'm going to play here next. We're going to go with the foxes. We get six extra parts. So 30 parts to start with. That's a lot of parts. And sell some of those parts. Uh, so let's see. Summary. So how much higher do I have to jump prestige to get good rewards? Prestige six. When buildings cost more, we get one more thing. That's nine for prestige 20. Not that much more rewarding. I'm going to keep going Prestige 2 for the minute. For a minute. Just try to win faster. I think Prestige 5 is the right spot between difficulty re reward ratio. It just gives us slightly more meta progression resources. I don't think I care. This will be our last settlement. We do start with humans. No idea. Tempted to take 10 Ember here. Even faster Glade events. Not that necessary on the lower difficulties. On the higher difficulties, definitely higher. Value, the prayer book. I'll take 10 Ember to start. Alright, we definitely need some woodcutters here. Build stuff. Good for them. Can't go wrong with lumber mill. I think that's a pretty good statement in general. Lumber mill is pretty strong for its a very efficient plank production. Um, plus, it, we are on the the biome that gives lots of wood, so even better. I really only queue up one house. Yes, so. You can favor people again. That's good to remember.
basic stuff getting online. Even more trade routes are now available. In general. Hey, congrats on the A20 heart win for the first time, Din Goose. Well done. Always happy to hear of glorious success by dedicated viewers. Again. Storm's coming. Make harpy houses now, but I currently have no use for them. All right. Um, why don't we make a trepper's camp? Point oh seven per minute. That's actually quite a lot this early on. Okay, and now let's just gather some stuff. While the woodcutters cut through the storm. Gonna be opening, I guess, this glade partway through the storm. Let's look at the orders now. Plus one plank production again. Five glades or any three glade events in time. I've never thought this was rewarding enough. Get even better plank production than last time. Bell 20 stuff. It's definitely going to happen. Sure. All of the ruins. Open three glades and rebuild a salvaged ruin to get tool shop. I want to try it. Of course, we're not guaranteed to find any ruins at all, really, but it's a problem for our future self. I guess the small glades are not that ac accessible, huh? It's a little bit of trouble. We'll run full... Uh, cutters for this. We have that trader arriving, right? Okay, we've got a ruin. Oh, it's a good one, too. A tavern. Although that will be very expensive to rebuild. We could salvage it. Light Rock Cauldron. We could ignore this. I'm going to ignore it for now. Uh, all the more reason to cut into another dangerous glade. Now, the negative consequence of this event is nothing, nothing annoying. I'm gonna be using rain engines that much. Give me more foxes. I like the foxes. Foxes are cute. Foxes are great. Risky quest paid off? Well, I wouldn't say that just yet. Not say that just yet. This will be the easiest blade to get into next.
ancient shrine, no problem. No ruin here. What do you mean I can't destroy it? Don't be ridiculous. Of course I could destroy it. Okay, we can loot that for three ancient tablets. Sounds perfect. Um, foxes will work on that momentarily. Now we have to get into the last glade. We have a little while to do it. Shouldn't be so hard. and the eggs. Now you arrive at the right timing. So, planks are what I need to rebuild that tavern. Is that correct? Well, it's more than just that. Four bricks, eight fabric. Hello. Hmm. Uh-oh. Yeah, I was worried about that. Damn it. I don't think we can do this. Although I can salvage it, right? We can salvage it. Instead of rebuilding it. I guess that's acceptable. Ooh. Cutter's Prayer. We'll lose all 157 wood we have right now, but we get way more wood production. Um, now we should also pick our blueprints, too. Did we find large meat nodes? We got large mushroom, large clay. Yeah, there's one nest that would justify a trapper's camp. I'd rather have the large mushroom camp, though. I guess I'll probably take lumber mill. So we can make planks ridiculously effectively. Temple. Tios being able to make porridge is pretty valuable. And there we go. Large mushroom nodes. Bliss camp. Damping mill for pottery and flour is pretty tempting, but I want to be able to get these large mushroom nodes. Okay. So... How long does it take to salvage? Two minutes. We have a couple minutes. I think our third species is beavers. Yeah, it is. Um, I'm, I'm pretty sure you can tell the third species by the blueprints you're offered, by the way. Uh, I'm pretty sure Lumber Mill only ever spawns if you have beavers. That's one of your three species. There are species-exclusive buildings. Don't unpause. Yeah, I do actually want this. Rip the fuel. It's fine, though. Yeah, it's fine. Oh, wait, I should have sold all my... Yeah. Should have sold all my wood. Do I still want to buy planks? I don't think so, right? We are super good at making planks. Although... No, we need two bricks and two fabric. Okay. Let's get this up. There's not much to do yet. Just start this now. Really hurts to salvage a tavern, but so it goes. A 
Reward for the time quest is big. Five reads per minute, tool shop unlock, and 12 tools. Big rewards. Well worth losing the tavern. There we go. This is being dealt with, right? That's right. We have tablets for the next trader. We cleanse this eventually. To get more reeds, we can cleanse it. Although I'll also need six purging fire. complete this. Not much in that glade. That's a really sad small glade. Ooh. Oh well. All of the ruins will be complete. That's what matters. Okay, we can run fewer woodcutters now. Get back on food production. Cash it in. Twelve tools? We have twelve tools. I don't have any small caches, right? I don't think so. Artisan can make coats? That's kind of valuable. But what about biscuits and pie? And pottery. That's really powerful. We just need a way to make flour now, and we have lots of mushrooms for flour. Uh, and I see we do have a geyser. Good, good. And we got some copper bars, too. Can't make flour. We didn't take the stamping mill. But now, once we make flour, we have good stuff to do with it. Although, I guess foxes like neither biscuits nor pie because they are filthy degenerates. We don't like baked goods. What the hell is wrong with them? Dipping their tea. Disgusting. Also, our impatience is super high, by the way. Fun fact. There we go. Fabric. Limit 10. Don't even ever think about baking planks here. Don't make pipes. Doing just fine on woodcutters. At least we got a bunch of pottery from the tavern. Make pickled goods, maybe. We started with six extra impatience, which is part of the concern here. As our map modifier, definitely a challenging modifier to play with, but it can also help us secure a quicker victory by keeping our hostility exceedingly low. We lose a full point of impatience every time we get a point, so we should be able to make this work for us. Please make a house. have any secondary effects. I wonder. Uh, there was an encampment, right? Yeah. 
Not doing that good on food, though. Get the lumber mill built. From there, the world. Live over here now. Big shelters are more wood efficient, huh? I never build large shelters. Probably should, sometimes. Maybe straight don't do that. Think about making package trade goods out of this pottery. Right? That's right. We want the tea house next. Okay, the tavern's gone. Fifty trees in five minutes to get fifteen planks, faster fuel recipes, and three wildfire essence. Wonder how hard this is to do. Vandero said, "Lumber mill is not a species lock building." Here's the currently species lock building: humans, brewery, brick oven, monastery, beavers, cellar, tinctuary, and guild house, lizards, butcher and clan hall, harpies, cooperage and bathhouse, foxes, beanery, and tea doctor. Thank you. Let's try it. Eight human houses? That's not happening. That's not happening. That will never, ever happen. Not even once will that happen. Okay, but if I want to cut 50 trees down, I'm pretty sure I need three woodcutters camps for it. Three woodcutters camps that are actually staffed. Da -da. Oh, perfect. I don't have to make a thing. Thanks. Lots of copper bars for sale. That'll be 20 value of goods sold. We have no planks. Hmm. Melter can make copper bars at three star for 22 amber here. So that can give us really efficient tool production. I guess let's do that. Let's make a bunch of tools. Oh, this is more expensive now. Okay, so don't trade for amber unless I have to. Oh, 
Some more people. Definitely want more people right now. Yes, this will just keep doing. I think it's better to use the reeds there. Probably not. So in one minute we felled five trees? This is not going to work, right? Shows how little I know about tree felling speeds. I think it's gonna make any difference getting the third one online. We'll see. Worst case scenario, we get a bunch of wood, I guess. And yeah, Woodcutter's Prayer does make it slower to chop trees. We've known this. That'll be faster than this, though. Yeah, they have to carry so much stuff. Should I even bother trying? See what happens here. I think all trees have two charges. But yeah, lots of resources to carry back. Lots of resources to carry back. Well, I thought that'd be doable. Would staffing the warehouse help out here? No, because that's not unlocked. You cannot staff the warehouse. Just give up on that. Good try. Total disaster. Oh well. Uh, we can now make our he -arth. I want this to be over here then. Some of the basic stuff is unlocked in Queen's Hand mode, like we have the Stonecutter Camp unlocked instead of the small Stonecutter Camp, but not everything is. Please make porridge out of uh, mushrooms. I'm not sure where the grain came from, but you can use that too. The builders. Got plenty of woodcutters though. Things going here. We have tons of fabric. Doing okay on bricks. Way too much wood. Okay. Let's do other stuff with that, I guess. And this is, yeah, this is stormwater connection, right? Let's freaking go. Good stuff. how many planks they can make. How long have those fools been waiting here? Our first beaver. 
Actually, put the beaver in the lumber mill. And this eat will resolve. Hmm. Should have been prioritized. Actual problem? No, we don't. Yes, we do. No, we don't. Monastery? Do like the monastery quite a bit. Minus 100 hostility. Makes people happy. Only takes 20 bricks. No problem. No problem. Where is it? There it is. One of those to ten. Is that is that even worth it normally? One point seven worth of planks becomes two worth of building. Yeah, that's barely worth it for selling. Kind of a shit deal. Okay. Plus one plank production is what matters here. Yeah, we could even sacrifice wood for lower hostility. That's true. We're definitely in a position we could do that. Um, let us get... Tool shop online. production. Beaver houses would be convenient on this map. Definitely make them. Make some new orders. Three loyalty decisions. We can do that. That's open. Uh, deliver caches, which we have massive tool production, so we can easily do that. And aesthetics and harmony decorations to get brewery and plus five ale production. Dang. That seems pretty doable, actually. I'm going to need five more bricks, but other than that, it's quite doable. We're already making bricks, although... Yeah, we'll make it a bricks. You can get harmony decorations from events, but they are not required. Make a bunch of umbrellas. We'll just delete all that once it's done. Or gatherers is one of my favorites. Double yields for all camps. Half yield for fertile ground buildings. I think farming in this game kind of sucks anyway, I'm going to be honest. So I don't much care about that. I 
doing on porridge. I should have limited this to 50. But it looks like we're doing just fine. Raider is here. If I could just buy bricks, that would make my life a lot easier. Seems good. Thank you. Oh, and I can do the building materials goal, too. Um, let me buy a few more, actually, so that I can do that. Let's cash that in now. Guildhouse seems particularly breakable on the lower difficulties. Let's take it. The more stuff we can trade, the more we'll earn here. Let's help build stuff. Will all be deconstructed. Yeah, it makes you less RNG dependent. Sure, I can I can believe that. About farming. It's yeah, the so what what I don't like about farming is the the double waiting um, that you your workers aren't able to work full time throughout the whole year. Like different amount of work required for planting and harvesting and buffing during the storm. So there's micromanagement if you don't want to lose some efficiency. And it's just kind of slow. Those umbrellas. Anything else we need to be building right away here? Guildhouse can wait. Um, we really ought to get the trade routes online, though. Okay, so we need packer provisions. That's what we need. Do limit these to just 15. Those are fine. You guys not building these fast enough. I think they each require one, 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 and each of those has to be a separate trip from a worker, I think. There we go. Wow, barely did that in time. We get brewery unlocked. That's pretty sweet. Bonus ale production. Problem is I have no ingredients for ale. Looks wildfire essence is kind of cool. Now we can delete all of this. All the materials back. Thanks. Less people.
the storm. We're going to chop into this dangerous glade during the storm. This doesn't have to be during the storm, but it will be. You have no job. You're fired. Uh, the big ship post, please. Okay, trade routes. We can do trade routes now. Sell this. Can make any of that yet? Uh, let's get the smelter online. That I will use right away. Actually, yes, use planks for the tools, not wood. Could also make barrels if we wanted to. It's the job for beavers. Now the bonus plank production is properly online. Bricks and pie we already have. What about three-star skewers? The foxes love these. I do have the ingredients for them. Okay, sure. Foxes don't like coats. Take a grill. Perfectly fine. What trade routes can we do? We can sell our planks. Sure. I can sell even more reeds. Also reeds in a bowl. Associate farming with winning runs much more quickly if you get them up before year three. That I could see. Definitely see that. Oh yeah, we want to cut into this now, right? Trade route. I think I need more glades that be open. This is only going to be one of them. Looks like we probably should go into this one next as well. What we got here. We got one cache. We have a trapper's camp. We have a small destroyed caravan. We can send to the citadel. I'll be doing that. Large sea marrow nodes are worth mining, usually. Very valuable goods in there. I just need more people again. Um, get the woodcutters cutting wood over here, I guess. Cut into this sooner rather than later.
might need a blight post soonish. Some lumber mill working away. We have 67 planks still. Being tense. Uh, fiery wrath could be okay. Sure. I like that there's a trapper's camp and large meat nodes in here. This rebuilt. We don't have enough people. What I'm seeing here. Another small destroyed caravan. And it's gonna cost a lot of food. Burr. Might buy some food from you, Zorg. My people are hungry, and I have so many planks. Would you like 30 planks? And five packet building materials in exchange for your biscuits? Thank you. Let me make sure I can make packet provisions properly. Uh, I'll buy more, let's see, berries, herbs. Hello. Got herbs, I'll buy herbs. Oh, those uh, parts are worth a lot. Cool. Use those for the pack of provisions. Thanks. Still no people available. Two minutes until more arrive. Small trapper's camp is done. Okay. Isn't the blueprint good? What, the farm? We just talked about this. Don't be ridiculous. Don't be ridiculous. Oh, yeah, we can do the large encampment, right? Well, yeah. We'll get me more people. Y'all right. Is the threat timer on this long? Okay. Cool. Good night, Annabelle. Happy to have you tuning in for our final stream of the year. Always a pleasure. And Ravaru with so many gifted subs. Welcome to the Cozy Sub Club, one and all. This does not matter. Actually, the cheaper pack of provisions might matter. Let's get that made. 
So we don't need this anymore. Build house is up. Not that much yet, but we can break it. We can definitely break it. Hoping with the guild house we can get a year six win here. And the time flies so fast though. Let's exclusively use the herbs, actually. I should have limited those. I have 15 copper bars, 11 tools. I think burning through our wood really quickly. Some more woodcutters. Okay, that glade event got completed. Man, the Trapper's Camp. Nothing to build, so I think we're good now. Need to send one more. Still making porridge? We are. Making it as fast as we can. Oh, I see the water is a limiting factor sometimes. You know, that lever mill can slow down a bit. It's fine. Need to sell. Plenty of money. Do I want to summon the trader now? Think about that. I think I do actually. Many things to purchase from you, lady. Aha. I use roots to make ale. Yes. We have a monastery too. Okay. The spiced ale seems really OP, is what you're telling me? Sounds good. a good trade. What is this now? Two. Hm. Seems fine. Oh, I'll start making tons of play. Let's see. Okay, just make ale. Use the roots. Don't put a limit on it, just make tons. We'll get up a monastery. Apparently we super duper need a house. Oh dear.
We're at 88% corruption rate, too. That's spooky. Very spooky. Still here. That's cute. Towards this Forbidden Glade. It looks like it's a long ways off. So we need this too. Happiness will commence soon. Oh, we almost failed at that. Oh yeah, we're getting this, huh? Actually, that's good. That'll get to this faster. for the amount we've traded for. Pick dollar orders, we just failed one. How do you adjust the woodcut reticle? Um, I believe it is shift. Yeah, shift makes it smaller. Oops, or turns on sticky keys. Right, thanks Windows. Ton of water skins. Sounds great. Hey, nobody's blue yet. Three more people arrive. That actually helpful? I don't know. It is what it is. Stop eating porridge. our trader arriving? Do I need more people? Not right now. Uh, we're supposed to be really happy, though. Maybe not happy. happy enough. Not even close. We have biscuits active. Leisure is starting to kick in. What are you two doing? 
Taking a break. Oh, delivering a ton of ale. Even better. There we go. That's the 12 trade routes. We'll get into the super glade now. Destroyed cage of the war beast. Pay for the war beast's funeral. Cultivate the decay. More stuff. What's my trader doing? Two minutes. Come now, please. Uh, was there a cache in there? Yes, a large, there's a large and a medium cache. Perfect. Somehow we don't have that many tools. Don't worry about that. Arlov has more tools. Incense, tea, oil, or resin? Any of the above, huh? How's it going, better otter? Hello and welcome. I have 27 pack of provisions. Ominous. I think I'm just gonna buy a ton of tools here if possible. Gonna be another plus one global resolve for a trade of that magnitude. I don't think we can do it in year six again, though. This looks like garbage. Huh. We are missing bricks. You got any of those? No. Make them at the crude workstation. We can pay for the funeral. There might be a way to do this. We'll have to summon another traitor. It's fine by me. Yeah, so far year seven has been the sweet spot. I'm not happy about that, but it is what it is. We can help out with that too. Stone cutters anymore. Too many things to make. Okay, the beavers and the humans are now very happy. The foxes, we need to be happier though. We favor them. Eh, not yet. The export is done. That brings even more new people. I'm not ready for that. Nine foxes gives more resolve than nine humans? Interesting. Here, 0.78 per minute. It's a lot better. Uh, traitor. Two impatience. Come with me. No longer need to do trade routes, but they're probably worth it. Maybe. There we go. Incense. Perfect. Uh, how close are we on Guildhouse here? Not very. Okay, that's fine. Um, so do this. I have no amber now, though. Oh, shoot. Right, that takes amber. Boo. Crap. Uh-huh, I see. 24 of it, you say.
Hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Call me dog. Yeah. Wait, twenty-five out of thirty-six. Okay, so we're gaining one, two, three, four, four point seven five. I think we're good, actually. I think we might have done it for once. Although I need less people doing the basic stuff. Solaris wants a dad joke. What's an astronaut's favorite brand of gum? Orbit. No re buttons to shut. Wait, what are you missing? Do you mean we don't have it? What? Been scammed. That's all right. They'll fit. They'll get it from the cash. It's fine. It's fine. Do you have a house that uses incense? It's... Oh, we're probably praying. No, we're we're doing religion. Is what's happening. They're praying at the monastery. No religion for you. Also, we have no incense. Oh, shoot. Oh, I screwed that up, huh? Damn it. Frig. Uh, I have no way to make that, do I? Religion is bad, confirmed. It's true. Whatever, I'll just make everybody even happier. They'll figure it out. Yeah. They'll figure it out. Okay, all the caches are done, so we get plus two more. Uh, hmm. Oh, there's a cash here. I can get five more tools. We're good. Oh, easy. Okay. Here we go. So yes, this should be a year six win. Sweet. We also might have just straight got enough points from reputation to get there, even without this cash. But yes, we're now we're now there. As we have three more coming. Great game. Saving that year could matter. Down to the wire though, it's definitely tough to get the sixth year, it seems like. Run all the way over there, thanks. Good, good talk, have fun. Maybe 
Maybe not quite. Without the cash. 0 0.93, 0 0.94. As soon as the humans realize they're unhappy, this is not going to work out for them. But it looks like they're gaining it fast enough. We're fine. 99, there you go. GG.